Okay, this video I'm going to be connecting the EVGA SR2 1200 watt power supply to the EVGA classified SR2 motherboard. So let's first begin by unraveling this ridiculous amount of cabling. So first and foremost is the power supply to the big motherboard. And the question is, which pin goes where? And interestingly enough, you can only put in this thing one way. So and that is the one way that you can put it in. So this is the power that goes to the full motherboard. Now the other thing I have to do is connect the CPU power and this particular cable is actually labeled CPU so um, I'm going to be connecting it directly to the primary CPU. There we go. And the primary CPU is over here. So the pins are right here for the power. So let me connect the first one first. And it goes in like so. Yep. And then this is the second power connector for the primary CPU. And it goes in like so. And that's it as far as the primary CPU. Now I need to connect the power to the second CPU and here this is the cable for the second one and the second CPU is right over here so I'm going to put the power right next to it. Oh actually I made a mistake. This is the primary, this one is the secondary so let me move that over so let me disconnect this. Okay. Now let me take this one here and plug it in. And then the auxiliary here goes in like so. Perfect. Okay. Now the secondary has three connectors. It has the main one for the motherboard, the auxiliary for the overclocking, and the PCI connectors as well, so let me connect this one first, and it goes in like so, and then we have the secondary, and then we have the auxiliary that goes in like so. The only other, is there any other power that I'm missing? I think that's about it. Um, let me check to make sure I haven't forgotten or missed anything. But I think that's all we have to do to connect the motherboard. Yep, that's it. There's no more connectors. So this concludes the video of connecting the power supply to the motherboard. Stay tuned for another video shortly coming up.